Orioles have won seven of eight, while Philadelphia has dropped seven in a row. Manny Machado in the bottom of the first inning off Jerome Williams. His 12th home run of the season, 1-0 Baltimore leads it. 4-0 is the score later in the first, two runners in scoring position when Williams fires a wild pitch. Both runs score and he injures his left hamstring on the play. He exits before the end of the first inning. 6-0 Orioles lead in a second when Machado leaves again, this time off Dustin McGowan. It's his fifth career multi-home run game, 7-0 Baltimore. 12-1 Orioles, bottom four, Chris Davis joins the party. His 14th of the year, 14-3 is the score in the sixth when Chris Parmalee tattoos one to right. Parmalee was four for six in the game with a couple of homers. Ryan Flaherty caps off the home run brigade in the eighth inning as he takes Jeff Francoeur deep. The Orioles launch a franchise record eight home runs. As for the Phillies, they go winless on their eight game road trip, their first winless trip of at least eight games since 1883. On Wednesday, the teams will clash in Philadelphia. Kevin Correa on the hill against Ubaldo Jimenez. The Pirates have won five straight. Meanwhile, the White Sox have dropped four in a row. Charlie Morton is 4-0 on the season. Let's join the action in the bottom of the third inning. No score. Jose Quintana facing Andrew McCutcheon. That is going to score Starling Marte, and the Pirates go on top 1-0. Same score, bottom four. Sean Rodriguez gets every bit of it. His third homer of the year is a solo shot. Puts his team on top 2-0. Bottom six, same score. Francisco Cervelli has been white hot. He's batting 356 since May 1st. This is his second home run of the year. The Pirates are up three zip. Same score, top seven. Morton working on a shutout, but he's in trouble with two on and two out. That takes care of that. Seven scoreless for Morton. Gave up just four hits, struck out three. Ninth inning, three nothing Pirates. Mark Melanson polishes off the victory with his 21st save of the season. Pirates have won six in a row. It's the Pirates' third consecutive shutout and their fifth in their last six games. Three different Pittsburgh bats had multiple hits in the game. The victory for Morton is his fifth. He's given up a total of six earned runs in five starts this season. On Wednesday, the same teams will play in Chicago. John Danks on the hill for the White Sox against Jeff Lott for Pittsburgh. The Rangers are 12 games over 500 since May 4th. On Tuesday, they hosted the Dodgers. Joey Gallo walks against Brett Anderson in the first inning with the bases loaded. Prince Fielder makes it 1-0. More Fielder in the fifth. Men on the corners for him. Two outs. That throw will not get him. And it's now 2-0 Texas. Sixth inning, Chichi Gonzalez blows away Howie Kendrick. In the seventh, it's still a 2-0 game when Andre E. Ethier is robbed by Elvis Andrews. Check out how easy he makes this backhanded play look. Eighth inning, Yasiel Puig with a man on. Gonzalez says no threat here. He's through the eighth. Ninth inning, Gonzalez looking for his second shutout in his last three starts. But Justin Turner launches one to left and we're tied. Bottom nine, Josh Raven against Robinson Chirinos. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's a walk-off shot for Texas, who's now 27 and 14 since May 4th. Gonzalez went eight and a third, gave up five hits, two earned, struck out a couple along the way. Looking ahead to Wednesday, the teams will play in Los Angeles. Clayton Kershaw and Wandy Rodriguez share the Dodger Stadium Hill. The Astros and the Rockies at Minute Maid Park. Bottom one, Chris Russell deals to Jose Altuve back in action. After missing three games due to a hamstring strain, George Springer scores on a close play, one nothing Strohs. Houston now behind 3-1, bottom two, until Luis Valbuena goes deep. Start of a big day for him. Valbuena makes it 3-2. Now tied at three, bottom three, two on, two down to Big O Santana. That's his first career hit, and it drives in the tie-breaking run. Astros back on top by a 4-3 tally. They're not done there. The next batter is Valbuena. High and deep to right field, his second of the game. Third career multi-homer game, second this year. That makes it 7-3 Strohs. Now 7-5, bottom five, Hank Conger gets on top of this one from Brooks Brown. Conger launches one to right. That's a solo shot, and it makes it 8-5 Houston. That was your final in this one. As the Strohs have now won three straight, the Rockies have now dropped six of their last seven. The home-and-home home series shifts to Colorado on Wednesday. Brett Oberholzer for the Strohs squares off with Kyle Kendrick for the Rockies. The Nationals and the Rays at the drop on Tuesday. Get used to seeing this. Top two, Clint Robinson. A mammoth shot to right field off Alex Colomay. My goodness. 1-0 Nats. Colomay done after two. Now 6-0 Nats. Top five, Bryce Harper takes his turn. Off C.J. Riefenhauser. 
22 for Harp. Nats up 7-0. It's now 13-1 in the bottom of the seventh. And Tanner Roark looking good. He gets Kevin Kiermeyer to ground out to close out seven innings of one run ball. Now we go top eight. The race turning to position players to take the mound. First, it's Jake Elmore facing Wilson Ramos, and there it goes. Ramos, the solo shot, 14 to one. Nats. Elmore gone. It's Nick Franklin on the hill in the top of the ninth. It's Ramos back at the plate. He goes deep again. Two homers out of the night, both off position players, though. Should that count? The Nationals cruise to the 16 to four win as they set a season high in runs scored, and they set a Nationals team record for hits with 23. The Rays' four-game winning streak is snapped. Home and home series shifts to Washington on Wednesday. Jordan Zimmerman for the Nats, Matt Andrews for the Rays. The D-backs and Angels wrapping up the first half of a home and home. Albert Pujols batting cleanup for the first time in his Angels career. Jeremy Hellickson working on a shutout in the sixth inning. No longer. Pujols with his American League best 19th home run of the season. It's a two-run shot that plates Mike Trout, and the Angels have a 2-1 advantage. Let's go to the top of the seventh inning. Garrett Richards now pitching with a lead. A.J. Pollock at the plate. Kyle Kubica with a terrific play over at the hot corner to help Richards through the seventh. Check out Pujols and his ability to keep his foot on the bag. Richards went seven innings, giving up just one unearned run. Bottom of the eighth inning, David Freeze against Randall Delgado. It's a two-run homer that widens the Angels' lead to 4-1. Houston Street would close it out with a perfect ninth inning for his 20th save of the season. On Wednesday, the home-and-home home will continue in Arizona with Hector Santiago pitching for the Angels against Chase Anderson. The Giants and the Mariners on Tuesday. On the left, it's Duffman. On the right, another Duffman in his own right. Matt Duffy, of course. He takes Jay half deep and gone in the bottom of the second, the two-run shot. It's happy hour at AT&T Park. Giants have a 2-0 lead. Same score, top five, first pitch of the inning. Drilled deep and gone by Brad Miller off Tim Blinsicum. That makes it 2-1. It's now 3-2 Giants, bottom eight, two on and two down. On an 0-2 pitch, it's Duffy. He finds some real estate. That brings in another run, and the Giants increase to a 4-2 lead, and somewhere, Homer Simpson is smiling. Next batter for the Giants is pinch hitter Casey McGee. He drills this one the other way into right field. Nelson Cruz cannot make the catch. A pair come in on the 2-1 double, and the Giants go on for the 6-2 win to snap a nine-game home skid at AT&T Park and also snapped an overall five-game losing skid. Home and home series shifts to Seattle on Wednesday, a dynamite pitching matchup here. Madison Bumgarner facing Felix Hernandez. The Mets and the Blue Jays at City Field. 1-0 Mets bottom two. A man at second base, two men away from Matt Harvey. And you know Bartolo's not the only Mets pitcher who can rake. Harvey with the RBI double off Scott Copeland. And the Mets extend to a 2-0 lead. Harvey good at the plate, really good on the mound. Now 3-0 top five. He gets Russell Martin on the swing and a miss. And then freezing Chris Calabello, top seven. And then to close the frame, Ezekiel Carrera flies out. The Dark Knight pumped up. He was done after seven, and the Jays were happy to see him go. Now 3-1 top eight. It is Edwin Encarnacion, a two-out ribby single off Bobby Parnell. The Jays cut it to one. It's 3-2. Next batter for Toronto is Calabello, but Parnell gets him on strikes to keep it 3-2. Now top nine. The Mets one out away. Ryan Goins flies out as Parnell completes a five-out save, his first save of any kind since 2013. Mets earn the 3-2 win, their third straight and fifth in six games. Home and home series continues on Wednesday. The Reds and the Tigers at Comerica Park on Tuesday. Pick it up top five. The Reds down one nothing. Kyle Ryan deals to Todd Frazier and up goes Frazier. The game tying shot to deep left field. Frazier's 19th and the Reds even the score at one run apiece. Next batter for Cincy, Jay Bruce. He sends it down the right field line. The Reds go back to back. They grab a 2-1 lead. Now tied at two, top seven. First pitch of the inning, and Frazier does it again. Second of the game, his fifth career multi-homer game. Reds up 3-2. Later in the inning, a man at third base, two men away for Billy Hamilton, facing Alex Wilson. Hamilton drops that one in. RBI single makes it 4-2. Same score, top nine. Java Chamberlain facing Hamilton again. A man at second base, one away. Hamilton sends it to short. An ill-advised toss by Jose Iglesias brings in another run. And the Reds go on for the 5-2 win to snap a three-game skid. The Tigers' brief two-game winning streak is snapped. Home-and-home -home series continues in Cincinnati on Wednesday. 
David Price for the Tigers, Johnny Cueto. Quite a ball game between the A's and Padres. Bottom one, Scott Casbier deals to Justin Upton. He is robbed at the wall by Billy Burns. He's been something else lately. Yonder Alonso is doubled off first base for the inning-ending double play. Now 2-1 Padres, top five runners on the corners for Burns. Sends that one to the wall. It's a go-ahead two-run triple off Andrew Castor. And the A's on top, they have a 3-2 edge. But back come the Padres in the bottom of the fifth on a strange play. Melvin up to Junior at third. He breaks for home, but hold everything. Casimir called for the balk. The run counts, and we're even at three. But in the top of the sixth inning, Ben Zobris launches a tie-breaking two-run shot. A's up 5-3. Now 5-4, bottom eight. Matt Kemp brings us back to square one. Solo shot off Evan Scripner, 5-5. But top nine, Eric Sogard. Seeing eye ribbing single off Craig Kimbrell, and that would prove to be the difference on Tuesday. A's hang on to win at 6-5, their third straight win, while the Padres fall in their first game under interim manager Pat Murphy and have lost three in a row. Home and home series shifts to Oakland on Wednesday. Jesse shot the Cardinals and the Twins on a wet day in St. Louis. Two rain delays in this one, totaling over 90 minutes. Michael Waka on the hill for the Cardinals. Kyle Gibson for Minnesota. He falls behind 3-1 in the bottom of the third, courtesy of the two-run single by Mark Reynolds. Now let's check out Walker in the top of the fifth. He gets Byron Buxton on the wave and a miss. In the sixth inning, Torrey Hunter goes down. Then to close the frame, Joe Mauber is frozen. Walker would turn in six and a third. Now 3-2, top eight. Byron Buxton ran at will in the minor leagues. Mr. Buxton meet Yadier Molina. He throws him out with ease. Still 3-2, top nine. Kevin Sechrist on for the save. As Trevor Rosenthal unavailable due to arm tightness. Sechrist in a two-on, two-out jam. But pinch hitter Eduardo Escobar with the lazy fly to right. That's it. Cards win at 3-2, their fifth in a row. They now have four winning streaks this season of at least five games. The home-and-home -home series shifts to Minnesota on Wednesday. Carlos Martinez takes the hill for St. Louis, opposed by Minnesota's Tommy Malone. Nathan Avaldi and David Phelps were traded for each other, among other players in the offseason. On Tuesday, they squared off on the same mound. Bases loaded for the Marlins against Ivaldi in the first. Marcelo Zuna delivers a two-run single. Miami's still swinging in the opening frame, and it's a Dani Echevarria who launches a two-run triple. It's his third three-bagger of the year, 6-0 Miami. Still in the first, 7-0 Marlins. Derek Dietrich doubles home D. Gordon. Nathan Ivaldi goes two-thirds of an inning, gives up eight earned. Chris Martin against Giancarlo Stanton in the fifth. It's a three-run homer. He's got a Major League Best 24 homers, and he's knocked in a Major League Best 62 runs. David Phelps was cool as could be on Tuesday, striking out Brett Gardner in the sixth. Then he gets Carlos Beltran in the seventh, followed by Brendan Ryan in the same frame. Seven strong for Phelps, gives up six hits, allows two earned runs, strikes out five batters along the way. On Wednesday, the same teams will play in New York. Jose Arena against Michael Pineda. Royals trying to make it two straight wins in Milwaukee, and it was the Lorenzo Kane show early on. That's his sixth home run of the season. It's a two-run dinger off Matt Garza. It's 2-0 Royals in the first. Same score, bottom three. Kane in center field. This comes with men on the corners in two outs. He steals one from Jonathan Lucroy. Royals threatening in the fourth inning, and it's the pitcher, Chris Young, with a two-run single to make it 4-0. Royals are all over Matt Garza. Fifth inning, Shane Peterson ricochets one off Young's glove, but Omar Infante turns in one of the plays of the night. You can score this one 1-4-3, one, and the Royals are through the fifth. In the seventh inning, Mike Moustakis laces one to right field off Matt Garza. It's his sixth of the year, and the Royals go on top 6-0. Same score, seventh inning. Chris Young still at it, gets Gene Segura, then strikes out Shane Peterson, and the Royals are 7-2 winners on Tuesday night. The same teams will be back at it on Wednesday with Mike Fires on the hill against 